Authorities in Japan have given the all clear to people living along the northeastern coast. They lifted a tsunami warning and advisory issued after a strong earthquake shook the region. Analysts say the tremor was likely an aftershock from the March 2011 earthquake. The estimated 7.3 magnitude tremor jolted the country at 5.18 p.m. local time, triggering tsunami. It struck off the Sandiku coast in the Tohoku region. This is the same part of Japan that was hit by last year's quake. Immediately after Friday's tremor, authorities issued a tsunami warning and advisories for Pacific coastal regions. They say a tsunami of one meter came racing ashore in the northeastern prefecture of Miyagi, hitting the coastal city of Ishinomaki. So far, there are no reports of major injuries or damage. Authorities lifted their warning and advisories two hours after the quake hit. This tremor struck in the evening, uh, early evening as people were heading home from work or getting ready to sit down for dinner. As we mentioned, meteorological agency spokespersons say they believe it was an aftershock of the March 11th earthquake. We felt the tremor here in Tokyo building swayed for a number of minutes. Several waves of up to one meter reached the coast of northeastern Japan just after 6 p.m. Japan's meteorological agency says the highest wave measuring one meter hit the coast of Ishinomaki and Miyagi prefecture. Waves measuring 40 centimeters reached the port of Sendai, also in Miyagi prefecture, and Soma in Fukushima prefecture. Other waves measuring at least 20 centimeters were recorded along the coastal coast of northeastern Japan. There are no reports of damage at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant. Some workers were evacuated to higher ground, though, as a precaution. Now, the operator of the Onagawa nuclear plant, located further north along the coast, says the situation there is also stable. Some workers were also evacuated. Now, bullet train or Shinkansen services linking the Japanese capital to Aomori, Niigata, and Nagano have been suspended. Services along the Tokaido line between Tokyo and Osaka have resumed after a temporary suspension. Now this is the same part of Japan that was hit by the March 2011 disaster. Along with issuing a tsunami warning for coastal regions in Miyagi, authorities also issued tsunami advisories for other northeastern or eastern prefectures, Iwate, Fukushima, Ibaraki and the Pacific coast of Aomori. Officials have been urging people over and over again to get to higher ground right away. This strong earthquake hit early evening as people were heading home from work or getting ready to sit down for dinner. And we felt the tremor here in Tokyo as well quite strongly actually building swayed for a number of minutes. Now the powerful earthquake prompted local authorities to call for the evacuation of coastal areas in Fukushima, Miyagi and Iwate prefectures. But some residents say information about the quake and the tsunami alert failed to reach them. The shaking lasted for a long time, but I didn't hear any information from the municipality. I decided to evacuate on my own. I'm all right now. Tokyo Electric Power Company says there are no reports of damage at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant. Tokyo Electric Power Company says there are no reports of damage at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant. Some workers were evacuated to higher ground as a precaution. The operator of the Onagawa nuclear plant, located further north along the coast, says the situation is stable. Some workers there were also evacuated. Now, Japan's major mobile communications companies, NTT Docomo, KDDI, and SoftBank, are asking their customers to refrain from using their phones. The companies are requesting that users not make unnecessary calls or send emails or text messages on their mobile phones. That's, of course, a lesson after the communication breakdown following other major earthquakes.
Uh, there are no reports at the moment of any damage. Uh, of course, a one-meter tsunami is much, much smaller than the one that hit back in 2011, which was between 10 and 11 meters. Uh, but it's still, you know, big enough uh, to cause flooding and potentially cause damage. And Rupert, a concern, of course, for many Japanese citizens will be nuclear safety because the meltdown at that plant uh, last year is very raw in everyone's memory. It is, and it's interesting that the company that runs the Fukushima nuclear plant, uh, Tokyo Electric, has been very, very quick this evening to put out a statement saying that the plant is unaffected by the tsunami or the earthquake and that work there to stabilize the reactors after they melted down uh, is going on as, as normal and that it hasn't been stopped by this event. Uh, what reports of any damage or casualties? Tokyo Electric Power Company says there are no reports of damage at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant. Some workers were evacuated to higher ground as a precaution. The operator of the Onagawa nuclear plant located further north along the coast says the situation is stable. Some workers there were also evacuated.